Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Sports Fitness. Want to run fast and jump higher, all that good stuff? Come to the right place. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Daniel Vogelbach, he needs true power, man. Now listen, I'm a big fan of his. I think he's an extremely talented baseball player. I really do. Uh, and I'm a big Mets fan, so I want him to do well. And this is not a Bill Maher kind of fat shaming or anything. But I do believe he is scratching the surface of his ability. Now here's another thing, guys. You have to keep in mind. The worst player on the worst team in Major League Baseball is one of the best nth percent athletes in the world. These guys, every single one of them, are extraordinary athletes. Many of them can play any, posi any position they want. They can play any sport they want. I mean, Mike Trout was a big football player. LeBron James was a big football player. I mean, we can go right down the list. They just do anything they want because they are extraordinary athletes. And he's no different. He's no different. The problem is he struggles with his weight. He's at least 75 to 100 pounds overweight. Okay? And he doesn't have to be. Guys, anybody can be lean as, and you do not have to torture yourself. You do not have to starve yourself, and I wouldn't want him to. Now, since he is an everyday athlete that has to be on call, I wouldn't necessarily start him on a cleanse. I don't think a cleanse would be a problem for him at all as far as energies and all that sort of stuff. I think he'd do great, even if he was playing. But it's just the type of thing where you, it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. Now, if you want to drop you know, 30 pounds quickly, 50 pounds quickly in the off season, yeah, we'll do a cleanse. And he would thrive on it. Now, here's the thing. He is so bulky, he can only swing with his arms. He, he doesn't get his body in it as well as he should because the body is just not quick enough for the arms. Um, if he dropped 50 pounds, 100 pounds, and he could do it over a period of time, there's no question, without starving himself, I'm telling you, he's such a talented guy, such a talented guy, he could be an all-star level player easily, easily be an all-star level talent. As I said, most of them could be if they got the, the chance in the right situation and whatnot. And... Um, not only is he leaving, just scratching the surface of ability, guys, that would mean millions and millions of dollars for him and his family. All he needs is an all-star year and then sign one contract for five years. For an all-star level player, that, that, that's close to $100 million over five years. And he's just leaving it right there on the floor. Guys, I could so easily turn his career around. And the thing about it is, probably turn his career around probably isn't the right term because he's so successful to begin with. I mean, he's an integral part of the Mets. But uh, a couple weeks ago, he pulled a hamstring just running from first to third. I mean, just running. Now, think about what I just said. This is one of the greatest, most gifted athletes in the world, and he can't run from first to third without pulling a hamstring. Guys, he's not in shape. He's working out wrong. We put him on juice. Juice, juice, juice. Now, these guys have enough money that they could just, just get a, somebody to come in and do the juice for them. Very easily do that. Just deliver it to the house every morning. Give me two, three gallons of apples, some uh, green juice. Uh, okay? Just deliver it every morning. Take it to work with them. And then all day long, all day long, he eats fruit all day long, as much fruit as he wants, smoothies, fruit, everything, and juice. Then in the evening, he has an enormous salad, this is after the game probably, an enormous salad, he could have the salad before the game, and then he could have a cooked meal of rice, corn, peas, potatoes, pasta after the meal. 
It's so easy. I am not saying that he has to cut back on calories. I'm not saying he has to white knuckle it and all this sort of stuff. He just has to know how to eat. And over time, that would go like that. That would go like nothing. Okay? Now, on top of that, I guarantee you, I don't know what his workouts are, but if he is pulling a hamstring running from first to third, his workouts aren't right. I put him on 30 minutes a day of kettlebell. And like the, uh, like the diet, guys, it is not torture. Torture doesn't work long term. Torture does not work long term. It just absolutely doesn't. And if a half an hour of kettlebell, kettlebell swings, he needs one move. Now, he's such a talented athlete, we could put him on a dozen moves over a period of time, and it would take his, his, his it would take it next level. Next level. Okay? He could be a major league all-star. And right now, he's basically just a DH because you, he can't put him anywhere. He can't move. Drop 100 pounds? I'm telling you guys, the worst player in baseball was a superstar in high school and probably, probably All-American in college if he went. These guys are the creme de la creme of athletes. And he's no exception. And he is succeeding despite... His physical, his physical culture. I could fix that so easy. And he would be killing himself that he, he struggled with this for as long as he did. There is no reason anybody on this planet has to be obese. Now, sometimes there are genetic disorders where, you know, uh, things are not, uh, you know, digested correctly. And they're, they're, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. And if he has one of these disorders, I stand corrected. But guys, it's so easy. It's so easy. And it could happen. By this time next year, he'd be a different player. He'd be, he'd be an all-star by this time next year. Anyway, that's it. You know I work with athletes and I know I can consider life to be an athletic endeavor. So eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power and the world is yours, Chico. And everything in it.